Australia, and thank you all for being here at Cosmeticon 2021, and thank you for joining on this lecture webcast. My name is Dr. Minnie Saluja, and what I've been so fortunate to be a part of the clinical research that led up to Flexur and the launch in the United States, and I feel equally excited and honored to be a part of the Australian launch. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go through the didactic portion of Flexur, and then I will turn it over to Sandra Sostris, who is the clinical manager for Sinusure Australia, and she'll go through a live demonstration. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. So Flexure is the world's first wrappable radio frequency applicator, and that has huge implications because when you think about radio frequency or other different devices, they're all rigid devices, and basically the body has to go up and conform to the device, whether it's through pneumatic or all sorts of different things. Here we have a flexible applicator that can conform to the body and create that wonderful contact that's necessary for radio frequency to do what it needs to do in the tissue. Next slide. So it's part of this, um, part of the temperature platform. And this is an expandable platform. It is a high energy platform. It's 300 watts. It's a four megahertz monopolar radio frequency device. It has a large GUI screen and it is um, utilized for both non-invasive treatments and also has surgical capabilities, which we'll go into as well. So if we delve a little deeper into the platform, the word, it comes from temperature, and the word temperature really indicates why this is such a special platform, because there are thermistors and temperature sensing that's built into each one of these different uh, components. And that's important because you want to be able to get to therapeutic temperature so that you can have the clinical results that you're aiming for. So we have Temperature Envy, which has a 10, a 15, and a 20 millimeter handpiece that we utilize on the face. There's temperature vitalia, which is utilized in women's health. There's temperature surgical, which has different hand pieces that you can use for benign lesions, and you can also use it as a cutting tool. So Dr. Barry DiBernardo did a really nice study on blepharoplasties with this. There's also temperature firm, which is a large 60 millimeter hand piece that can allow you to get to temperature quite quickly. We utilize it quite often on our legs, our abdomen, our planks. And then finally, the newest iteration, which is flexure which is the very lightweight wrappable applicator where all the technology is built into this applicator. Yeah. So it's so simplistic to utilize. And again, Sandra will show you this in her <clears throat> live demonstration, but you basically peel off the back of the applicator. You adhere it to the tissue that you're trying to treat. And it's a 15 minute treatment. And it can be utilized, we know it's non-chromophore dependent, so it can be utilized on any Fitzpatrick skin type, any time of the year, so it also improves the versatility of it. There's no BMI restrictions, and in fact, in our study, we did a patient whose BMI was 31 with very nice results. So again, it broadens the, effect, the, um, the range of patients that you can treat. It's very warm, it's comfortable, it's relaxing. Patients often fall asleep during the procedure. There really is no downtime. You might be a little, you might have experienced a little erythema for 30 to 45 minutes and then that dissipates. You can go right back into exercising right afterwards. Three to five treatments are recommended. Whenever I am off the face with, with treatments uh, with radio frequency, I typically like to maximize it. So I typically recommend five, but certainly we saw results post three treatments as well. So it's a single use applicator and um, there are six different zones that you see here. And basically the energy continues and goes around and oscillates every two seconds per zone. There's a large applicator, which is 360 centimeters squared. And then there's a medium applicator, which is 250 centimeters squared. I often use the medium for my flanks, also for my more petite women in the abdominal area. For my larger patients uh, in the abdominal area, I'll shift to my larger applicator. I would say the workhorse, though, is the medium applicator in our practice. Next slide. So where can you use it? Anywhere you can adhere it. So you can literally use it for your abdomen, flanks, back, arms, thighs, above the knees. And, it, and once again, that ability to adhere makes it so valuable when you're treating in areas of curvature. And again, three to five treatments are recommended. So let's talk about flexure treatments. 
we want to start with the consultation and you want to have realistic expectations. Remember, this is going to be utilized to help with the deep heating of the tissue. So you want to keep the expectations realistic. My, my perfect patient is between 35 to 65 years old. We typically do them every two weeks and that's reflective again of the IRB studies. Have I done it at one week? Sure. Have I done it at three weeks in clinical practice? Absolutely. But we try to mirror the IRB study. It's flexible, so you can use this as a marking tool. And what I mean by that is if you're setting it over the abdominal area, the flank area, you can kind of set it and mark it to make sure that you're not crossing over, that, that the energies will not be crossing over when you, when you go to the abdominal area from the flank. And you also uh, can then see if you need to turn off zone two or zone five uh, when it's over the umbilicus of the abdomen. So I typically will put it on and then I will connect my durable connector just to make sure that there's no twisting of the, of the wires. And so again, you, you peel off the two plastic areas on the back and you, you basically slowly roll it over the area that you're trying to treat and you adhere it down. You can kind of think about, someone had mentioned that it's like the iPhone protective case that you that you place over and you don't want to have any air bubbles. Now that's a lot harder to put on. Flex your applicator is much, much easier, but the same concept. You want to just make sure that it's adhered nicely. And so there's two modes. There's the standard mode and then there's advanced mode. Standard mode will uniformly show you what the temperature is of all six, uh, of, all six of the zones. So if you increase the temperature, you're going to increase all six confluently. Um, the number that you see the, at the bottom, that is the time remaining. I like the advanced mode, and I think you'll probably like it too, because you can see each of the six zones individually. It allows you to titrate temperatures up individually. So let's say, for example, you have a patient who's had cholecystectomy. They might have a little tiny scar there. You might be able to modulate that temperature setting down over that uh, specific zone. It also allows you, again, to, to turn off on the umbilicus when you're over the umbilicus. Next slide. The other thing I love about it is that Sinusure has built in visual cues uh, to show us where we are with the temperatures. So when uh, you see a blue light that's flashing, that means the temperature is being built, that you're not quite at the temperature that's been selected on the screen. When you see a solid blue light, that means you've achieved the temperature that you've selected. When you see a yellow ring, that's a divergence alert, which might mean that maybe there's poor adherence there, or maybe there might be a little air bubble. So you again want to just go over that area and examine that area, and it'll lead you right to the area just by what's on the screen. And then certainly when the treatment is done, you'll see the, the green check mark. So this is what patients look like immediately afterwards. You can see this is one of our patients that had uh, number two zone turned off over the umbilicus, and you can see where that area is untreated. The other areas have that erythema. The bottom slide also shows where we did her right flank first, then we did her left flank. So her left flank, uh, the erythema is immediately post. The right flank, you can see, is 15 minutes post. You can get, you can see the deg the degree of dissipation of the erythema. We tell patients to massage the area several times a day and to avoid uh, tight fitting clothes. But again, they can go right back and exercise immediately post-treatment. And here is a thermal flare camera and you can see the, um, the heat effect here. And there is some light, there is some slight lateral show as well of the, of the heat post-treatment. So now we're gonna go through our befores and afters. And I always say the proof is in the pictures. So this is a patient, we did her, um, each one of her flank area and her abdominal area. When you're taking photographs, we typically take eight photographs. We go all the way around when we're doing the photographs so we get a good 360 view, especially when I'm incorporating flanks and the abdominal area. And this is kind of your money shot because sometimes patients might be in, in a breath or out uh, with a breath, but on the back area of the flank, you can really evaluate the changes there. This is the front part. You can see that not only is there changes in the silhouette, but that the, the quality of the skin is improved. And here you can see the side angle. And I always find it interesting that even though we treat the flank area, you can see that there's improvement even in the upper area as well. Kind of that lower bra fat area has improved as well. 
This is a patient who had improvement in the textural area of her skin, and you can also see a slight um, uh, improvement in the, in the body silhouette. Here again, and actually the post photo is larger than the pre photo, so if they're exactly on scale, you would see even more of a dramatic effect. This patient had a um, had the flanks done and also the abdominal area done. And again, it's the quality of the skin that's improved as well as the silhouette. This patient had their inner thighs um, done and you can see again that the silhouette has changed. Okay, so when you get your flexor, what do you get with it? You get an accessory kit that has 10 of the large applicators. Remember, this is the 360 centimeter squared applicators, wonderful on larger torso patients. You get 10 of the medium flexure applicators. You get 25 of the grounding pads, which again, this is monopolar radio frequency. So the, the grounding pad, the neutral pad is on back. Make sure that when you're treating that the, that the applicator does not touch the grounding pad. You get a durable flexure connector and you also get the flexure enabling key. And so what can you do with flexure? Um, certainly you can do treatments as a standalone, but in the world of aesthetics, we know we see this with our facial treatments and as well as the body treatments, combination is king. And so what we like to do is we like to combine with our sculpture. Sculpture, as we know, gets to about two to three centimeters. We see that with Dr. Decorado's studies. So it gets to a greater depth. And then flexure gets to about 15 millimeters. So you're basically treating uh, stratified layers of the tissue. So you can, the two combine together can treat a greater uh, amount of total tissue. You can use it post liposuction. So again, it's at that 15 millimeter. Th so those subtle undulations that sometimes you see post liposuction, it's helpful for that. And it, because of the heat effect, it improves circulation, therefore improves healing. I love it for the dual treatment because remember, especially at this time of, of life that we're in, patients want to maximize their chair time as well as we want to maximize it from a return on revenue, but patients want to maximize it because their time is so important as well. So I love it with facials. I love it with the MAX-G IPL, and I also love it while doing uh, neuromodulators. So there's many things that you can incorporate it with. So thank you for your attention. Hopefully we'll get to see each other live at a meeting in 2022, and I will be around for questions and answers next. excited to ask you a few questions. So I, I might actually kick something off because I noticed something in your presentation that I think everyone might have been thinking. With some of your before and after photos, there's definitely an impression of volume loss. Are we affecting fat or is this just skin tightening? You know, so flexure gets to about that 15 millimeter range. So there can be some impact on fat there. And what I think that is so wonderful about it is that it's continuous heat. It, it's, it's definitely uniform heat that's applied there as opposed to manual manually delivering it. So we were really impressed with that as well. That was kind of a wow um, type of result that we had afterwards. Okay. And can I throw to the group? Is there any questions in the audience? I'm gonna, I'm gonna kick off again. Dr. Saluja, what do you think is the biggest advantage of the Flexure? over using the manual body applicator, the Tempsure Firm? Sure. Now, I still love Tempsure Firm for, for, for uh, different reasons as well. But I think the biggest thing is you never realize how important it is to have hands free. I mean, it really allows you to do different things such as facials, such as, um, you know, IPL. So it, it, that component was wonderful. The other component is just the ergonomics of it, that you can apply it, it can adhere to different areas, it can conform to different zones, and it's very easy and simplistic to utilize, very easy to teach. Excellent. And, um, you know, we're always taught that uh, near collagenesis, you know, maybe a four week interval process, and certainly with the other Tempsure treatments that we're doing on the face, it's recommended that we treat at four week intervals. I noticed in your presentation, we talk about two week intervals with the Flexure. Can you enlighten us as to why that's a bit different on the body? Sure, so, you know, four weeks, you can certainly do four weeks. And sometimes in our practice, we'll do anywhere between one to four weeks. We were doing it at two weeks for the IRB purposes because you'll continually, you'll continually recharge those fibroblasts to continue to make 
um, elastin and collagen. But that was the time period that we had selected for the body to try to get to goal and really just try to see what, how quickly we could get to goal. But there's no different, you know, you will not um, impact treatment if you're at three weeks or four weeks. I think the longer you go though, the, the harder it is to get to visual results quicker, if that makes sense. It does. Okay, and you know, can you give us um, uh, some comments uh, that your patients have said about the treatments? Sure. So very, very comfortable, and there was nobody who had an abort treatment. Um, they were relaxed, um, and again, 15 minutes is not a great length of time. It was their time to kind of just relax and have the procedure done. Excellent. Okay, so at this point, I might invite uh, Sandra Sostris, Sostris, the clinical director at Sinoshore, and our model up to the stage so we can show you a live treatment. Do I have any questions from the audience now? You can totally be friendly. Um, Kristen, go ahead. I'll just give you this microphone. Just give me a second. So my question is more about the cost of the treatment in terms of consumables. And I'm wondering if you can reuse those Flexure pads at all, like use one or twice on the same patient, or whether you have to use the pad only once. Sure. So it's advised to use it only one time. There are single use pads. Um, all the technology is built into that pad. So you, you definitely want to dispose of it after the single use. The pads, you know, the costs are different every place, but we charge about $400 for a treatment of it. Um, and again, a lot of times you can even reduce that cost depending on the location if you're doing complementary services at the same time. So I think that maximizes your revenue return and also the patients that we, we pass it on to the patients when we do a, a combination treatment. And is there any clinical difference in the treatment between using the Tempshore Firm and the Flexure? Sure. So if you if you had only one, you can certainly utilize Tempshore Firm anywhere. You, you can certainly utilize Flexure anywhere. If you had both in your practice, the differentiator that I typically use in my practice is I think that the legs lends itself more to Tempshore Firm in the sense that I can treat a greater area of surface area with temperature firm, and I can also utilize that massage head to have the temporary reduction of cellulite with it. So that's that's kind of my my differentiator between the two. Okay, excellent. So um, we'll just break two seconds, and we'll highlight the application of the actual Flexure pad onto the skin. So Sandra, what are we doing here? Off. Okay. <laughs> yep. And what are we going to treat? We are going to treat the lower abdomen, and I'm just going to apply as you know a rolling motion. Look, I already marked up before, and we're just going to apply it. Make sure we cover the belly button and just roll it gently. That's about it. Excellent. Roxanne, with the microphone, would you like to hand it off to Dr. Yang? Dr. Yang, did you have a question? Yeah. Um, during the introduction, you're talking about um, the, um, is the microphone working? I believe so. Okay, you're talking about the combination therapy. Um, if you're going to use uh, sculpture and uh, this flexural together, are you going to do it on the same day? Mm -hmm. If you're going to do it on the same day, which one you do first? Sure, that's a really good question. We do do it on the same day. So we typically do our sculpture first, which gets down to the deeper fat, heats the deeper tissue. And again, think about it as we were saying as a stratified approach. Um, and then I do the flexure afterwards on top of that. And so again, flex, if our sculpture is getting down to the, to the two to three centimeter, our, our flexure is getting to about the 15 millimeter. So we're hitting a greater um, area of tissue, so to speak. 
Ladies and gents, any more questions? Okay, so um, how does the how does the screen look, Sandra? What's the difference between? Look, I did choose. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> I did choose the advanced mode. Like this, I can control the temperature, you know, on each area of the pad. Look, I did disable the number two, which is where the belly button is, and and now we can see, you know, the warming up phenomenon. You can still start to see, you know, the blue light is still flashing to reach the 42 degree temperature. Once we reach the temperature, the blue light will stay steady, you know. If it was any loss of contact, you would see a yellow uh, marking. Okay. And that's about it. Yep. Okay, and the is treatment... It pleasant? Is it yeah, it just feels, um, I guess, like a hot stone massage, warm, it's pleasant. You could have a rest. Yeah. 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 Easy. And you know, I think Sandra brought up a good point too. I love that the metrics are visually uh, perceivable by the user. You can see it, you can just look over and see if it's something is flashing blue or if it's solid blue. So you can talk to the patient, but still know where you are with your temperatures. And it plays music, which is very relaxing. And so how many of your patients, Dr. Saluja, are also having, uh, you know, other treatments at the same time as Flexure? You know, I would say half of them, a good 50%. And I think the one that, the two that we do the most with it are neuromodulators. I don't do fillers as much with it because there's too much up and back when I'm doing fillers, but neuromodulators uh, lend itself so well to this. And then our esthetician does a lot of facials when this is done. I think both are so relaxing. And so um, those are two of the, probably the most popular combinations. And aside you, from the total body contouring. And are you also um, factoring in Flexure as part of a body contouring approach with, with other modalities? We do. So we, we definitely do it with sculpture. We'll do sculpture and then flexure. And then also we do sometimes do muscle stimulation as well. So I do that as a total, we call it the trim, tighten and tone package. And so we hit different levels from of the fat and we also hit the musculature as well. Excellent. And so how popular is it and, and how satisfied are the clients? Very popular because it's so easy to do and it's so comfortable. I think sometimes patients often ask before we do anything, is it going to hurt? You know, will I be able to tolerate it? And the answer is yes, you will. And so it's become really popular in that regard. And are you also using all of the other applications of the device too, the surgical, the women's health and the, the skin? We do. We don't do as much of the women's health and that this is the year that I'm going to embrace that and get more savvy with that. But we do certainly use um, Temperature Envy and we certainly use all the search by hand pieces and we still use Temperature Firm a lot as well. Okay. You know, there's an old saying, uh, jack of all trades, master of none. You know, with the Tempshore having so many different applications, is it a true leader in each of those applications or is it very good? Can you give us an indication of, I guess, how good all of those different uh, accessory kits are on this system? You know, so you're again, you're talking, I am personally biased because I do love it and we use it and we see the results. But I think one thing that makes it so, from, for me to stand behind those words, the fact that the thermistors that are built in that allow us to really see the temperature and allows allows us to visualize that temperature and only count it when the temperature is achieved is really important. And I think that's the key to getting to therapeutic results. Okay. And so, you know, if you were a clinic uh, buying your first machine, is this a good choice? I think so. I think it's very, very simplistic to utilize. The metrics are right there. So you know when you're getting to temperature, you know the time for the temperature. Flexure for sure is very um, simplistic to utilize. One more thing that, that we didn't talk about too is sometimes I'll utilize it with injectables um, when, I, when I'm trying to, to improve um, the components of the skin of the legs. So there's many applications that you can use with combination with, with um, the device. Okay, so yeah, you know, Flexure is, is the fifth 
um, application for the system. Where do you see this type of technology going next? Well, it, it does lend itself. If there is a hands-free technology for the body, I think the next question is where can we go outside of the body? Can we go, can we go up to the neck? Can we go to the face? It, it lends itself to other ideas of where of where Flexor can go to. And I think that again, having hands-free and truly hands-free. Um, really allows us to do multiple things and improve the time, the patient's experience and the time on the chair. So facial masks almost, hands-free facial masks. Wouldn't that be wonderful? Mm. Yeah. And how, um, I mean, do you get surprised every now and again when Sinusure in the US come to you and say, hey, we're bringing out a new application for this machine? Does it just sort of keep getting bigger and better? And is it a machine that that is on every day in your clinic? I think it excites me more than surprises me because I know that they're always in the background innovating something. I think that Sinusure does not uh, believe in stagnation. They believe in innovation and we see that time and again. So I'm always excited to see what they're up to next. You know, it's it's interesting um, in, in the industry and we're, we're at a conference right now and there's a lot of suppliers in the hallway. There's a lot of different machines and a lot of different things and buzzwords and names and it must be really hard for practitioners to really understand what the best technology is, especially when they attend breakfast meetings sponsored by a company talking about a particular product. Like It must be difficult. Um, but but tell me, is this is this a buzz treatment? Is it a gimmick treatment, or or are there real results and and real patient satisfaction using the FlexShore? There definitely are real results. Um, you know, again, we were looking at it more when we were doing the IRB study. We were evaluating it more from what radio frequency can do in regards to to the skin, and we were frankly quite impressed of what it could do to the quality of the skin, but then also the body silhouette. I think that was again. A, a moment where, where we were looking at the post photos that we're saying, wow, this is pretty impressive of what it's doing. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that once again, we are confluently getting to temperature in that large zone. You know, one, one component with manually moving um, a continuous motion uh, radio frequency is that maybe there are some skip zones. And here we're getting that confluency, which really correlated to some nice results. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, secretly, Dr. Saluja, we've been watching your videos and your webcasts for the last couple of years. So, so we actually know you very well down here. Um, oh. So it's really, it's really wonderful to have you in live uh, and for you to be with us this morning. Is there any more questions from the audience? Anything. You can be brave. It looks like I have covered absolutely everything that's going on in the minds of this group of people, Dr. Saluja. So uh, I might throw back to Sandra now. How are we doing with the treatment? We reached the temperature of 44 degrees. No? Okay. And so we have, we have six zones on this applicator. We're on the abdomen at the moment. And we can determine the temperature live on each of those zones. Yeah. And Dr. Saluja, you mentioned earlier, I think you mentioned earlier in, in one of your photos that you can actually turn off the, some of those zones if you do not wish to treat a particular zone within that area. Is that correct? Correct. And Sandra has one of them turned off already for the umbilicus uh, because sometimes that can create a little heat and there's, there's an air interface there. So we typically turn that off. And then, for example, if it's over a scar and maybe they have a little bit more temperature sensation, you can not necessarily turn it off, but you can modulate the temperature down perhaps on that area. You might be at 42 instead of 44. So that that capability to customize it also makes it really valuable. And that's why I think you'll like that advanced screen over the standard. And Sandra is shaking her head too. Um, I agree with her as well. Excellent. And so, you know, because, you know, we've touched on um, turning off particular areas and, and perhaps there's some safety precautions and, and reasons for that, how important is the training for this uh, application? Um, and is this a, a treatment you can delegate to staff? Sure. Training is always important. You always want to know how to utilize the system, how to put on pads. But I'll tell you, training is very simplistic with this. It's very, very easy to train folks on it. And it's definitely something that can be delegatable. 
Excellent. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe we have hit the end of our breakfast meeting. I hope it was nice and gentle for you this morning after last night's burlesque dancing. I must admit, <laughs> I, went, I went back to my room after the Michael Jackson uh, dance-a-thon last night. Um, Dr. Saluja, again, you know, I kind of feel like I know you already because I've watched so much of your stuff over the years, but it's really lovely to have you in here live. And uh, honestly, this is really wonderful that you've given up your evening, I, I presume, in the US um, to be with us here in Sydney in the morning. There's 20 incredibly enthusiastic participants in this room staring back at me uh, with wide eyes. So <laughs> I think well, everyone in so the session. Honored. To have been a part of it. Dr. So honored. Thank you. Round of applause, please, for Dr. Saludra. Have a wonderful meeting. And do you have any closing comments, Dr. Saludra? Well, I just think that, you know, body contouring is always something, and, and utilizing radio frequency is always something that we want to be able to maximize. And I do love the idea that Sinusure has now innovated something that can be placed on a target area and really be hands-free and deliver that uniform heating. And I think that really um, was important and a nice first step to see where this technology is going. Thank you so much. And you're welcome to hang out there, uh, Dr. Saluja, for a few minutes while we wrap up this treatment. But um, thank you very much, everyone, for participating in the session. Thank you to Sinashaw for putting this on, and especially Shannon Wooldridge of Sinashaw, who has uh, put in a wonderful effort this entire conference to make this happen. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. If you want to come up, feel free. If you want to